um, I just made that video. I just started to film getting that thing that I bought, that really awesome lights for my, for my, uh, YouTube videos. I was like, what? I have to watch a video on how to, <laughs> how to do it? I'm gonna have to, and hopefully it will really help me. Pictures help me better than instruction given by others, and like, confusing words and measurements, you know, that doesn't do anything for me, because I'm just like, what? But pictures just seem to, re it just really helps. Pictures help. <laughs> I tried to put it together, and I just didn't know what I was doing at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm glad that I found that it was on the the, um, the pictures. They didn't really help me this time. <laughs> <clears throat> On the other thing, the, the backdrop frame, it had this descriptive, awesome, you know, setup where it shows you the picture and how to screw it on using the picture. And I was like, okay, this is... This is easy. I can do this. But then I did, I tried to put this together and I just couldn't do it. I was just like, motorcycle. I was just like, how do I do this? How, how do you do this? How do you set this up? But unfortunately, I got a little lazy. I was just like, I don't want to figure it out. So I'm probably going to watch that YouTube video and see if I can do it. If I can't, y'all are going to have to wish me good luck because, I don't know. I have plenty of people here who would help me, so I just, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Excuse me, sorry. Um, but it's really funny. I'll show you the results of what I find, but... For now, I'm just giving you guys an update. I tried to take it out of the box. It, I was fine, like me unboxing it. I, I haven't unboxed the light bulbs yet. Those are crucial because they have to work. Or else I'm going to have to buy some light bulbs for it. And I don't know where to find the right light bulbs. So... Yeah, good luck, Tori, with setting all this up. <laughs> but, um, I did my makeup today all light-ish. You know, the eyeliner. I just, this is my iconic look, man. I love winged eyeliner. I just can't get enough of it. It's just amazing to me. I love it. And, you know, I did a natural look today. I did goldish. Not really natural, but <laughs> goldish brown, browns, and yeah, fun stuff. But I've always wanted to try, because Karis, she really likes this brand. That Shout out to Karis, this um, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Plum. And I've always wanted to try that, but then there's this taupe shade that I really like, and I'm like, I really want that one. It's kind of on the pricey side for someone like me who's saving up for a bunch of stuff because I got lots of stuff coming up. You know, I got Father's Day, then there's Fourth of July, then there's the family reunion, and that's a big trip. So that's going to be a lot to save up for, and I have not done that, actually. I was bad Yesterday, I was pretty bad. I went to Walmart and I bought the whole prequel tr trilogy of Star Wars and I watched it today. And I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have bought that. But if you're like me and you collect movies, you see a movie and you collect it. And that's my problem. 
I like to collect movies and I collect them and I, I kind of hoard them so kind of a movie hoarder Thing. I don't know. I haven't bought the Descendants 2 yet, but I really, I have the first one, and I want the second one, and I'm so excited to see the third one when it comes out, so I'm excited for that, but um, I haven't, I haven't bought the second one, so that's probably going to be my other movie that I'm going to get, so, <laughs> but I'm going to try to slow that down, because can't do that. And, and another thing, makeup is another thing I like to hoard. I hoard makeup like nobody's business. If I see something that's like, oh my gosh, that's going to make my eyes pop. It's going to be so pretty. And it's like eyeshadows, I collect those a lot. And lipsticks, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how many I have. And liquid lipsticks, I've been into those and just been collecting them and collecting them. And it's just been a problem, actually. You can call me a shop shopaholic. <laughs> I can't talk. But uh, anyways, I collect all that stuff. And I just like, and, and now I'm into brows. Like, my brows always have to look perfect now because everyone's into the brow business. And, you know, I like it, but I'm running out of, like, foundation, or not foundation. I'm running out of, um, I'm always running out of liquid eyeliner, mascara, and, like, stuff that I need. Like, the brow pencils, the brow kits. I'm running out of that. I got plenty of blush, plenty of, like... I'm almost out of foundation. That's one thing I don't like to shop for when I go to buy makeup. I'm like, I don't, this is not going to make me excited. <laughs> it doesn't sparkle. It's not, you know, this, that, and the other. It's just your regular, what you put all your over your face. And I'm just like, I don't want to just buy foundation. I don't know. I just don't get excited about buying foundation. It's just not my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but um, eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Eyeshadow. I collect that like nobody's business. I have so many palettes. I have the BH Blushed, Blushed Neutrals palette. I have, which I have on my face, like the blush and the bronzer stuff and all that. I have that and I, I love it. I have the peach palette and oh my gosh, I love the peach palette. It smells so tasty, it's so yummy smelling and it's, it's beautiful. I have it on my eyes right now. I love it. I love the peach palette and I'm out of a lot of colors that I keep using as like the browns and everything. I don't use the darker colors that much. I used to use dark colors all the time, but I don't really use, I, I haven't used the purple one in, like purple, I mean, what? I haven't used the purple and purple's my favorite? I don't know. Anyways, but I have that and I have like this mermaid palette that I hardly use and, you know, sad thing to say, I don't like to be negative about anything in general, but it's not doing it for me. It's not really doing it for me. It's makeup revolution. Yeah, makeup revolution. And <clears throat> the packaging was all right. Yeah, I can see that this is a mermaid palette from the box. But the inside packaging for the actual palette is plain black. The colors are very shimmery and pretty, but I don't use a whole bunch of shimmer on my eyes. I like the matte shades to balance out the shimmer. And then I go crazy with glitter on top of it sometimes. But it's rare in a once in a blue moon when I get out the, the glitter. But I when I go for glitter, I go hard. I just, all over my face, it's just everywhere. And it gets on everyone. <laughs> I like to hug people anyways <laughs> so I have that and I have a lot of glitters and I 
there's just so many amazing products coming out and it's just one of those times where I want to spend so much money and then I'm like, I can't. I'm saving up for this and this and this and this. And, you know, it's overwhelming. I, I, I hate that feeling where, like, I really want this, but I can't because it's limited edition. This is limited edition. That's limited edition. When am I ever going to get it? Because it's limited edition. Everything's limited edition. And I get that, you know, some things can't be forever but it's just like every time I want to buy something that's limited edition it just comes out and then it's gone like the Sephora sorry I got if you guys can point me to a mascara that doesn't get on top of your eyeshadow let me know because it drives me insane anyways <laughs> like everything's limited edition like the Sephora brand for the Disney princesses I wanted every single palette that came out and I can't I can't have it because they're all gone and you know it's it's popular when it's popular it sells out fast man you gotta get it while it's hot get it while it's hot get it while it's hot and I'm like it's just like the consumerism it's just I can't Stand consumerism it's everywhere they try to get you to buy everything and limited a time like hurry hurry buy it buy it and you're like I can't and then you feel bad because you you really wanted it and that's how I feel about that I hate that anyways I don't have any of the Sephora Disney princess palettes and I really wanted one the only Disney palette I've ever gotten was the Elf Maleficent one, which, I mean, it's not, it, it was cute. The packaging was cute. It wasn't like, bam, this is legit Maleficent. Like, the colors are so vivid and like, you know, some of them were really nice. I liked the green and it was very pretty. But it just wasn't a pal palette that just screamed Maleficent. But that's the only palette I've ever gotten that was Disney. And I'm pretty sad because I really want, I really, really, if they come out with a Rapunzel one, I'm going to be all over that. I love Rapunzel. And the Snow White, oh my goodness, the Snow White palette from Be Sane or Bin been seen I, I don't know how to pronounce that but it is so pretty and you know even if it wasn't pretty I'd still buy it because it's snow white because <laughs> I love she's my girl she's she's awesome I love snow white and that's I've always wanted like all the Disney princess palettes and it just makes me sad that I can't that I haven't got any of them except for Maleficent which she's a villain but I always thought Maleficent and the Evil Queen were the prettiest ones out of all the Disney villains especially Maleficent I don't know what it was I thought it was her red lipstick I think it was her red lipstick that stood out for me I just thought wow she dares to red wear red when she has green skin that's so I don't know. Anyways, in the Evil Queen, she she had this pretty. I think there was like some kind of purpley shade. I don't know. If you guys know, if you Disney fanatics out there know exactly what kind of color eyeshadow she's wearing, let me know because I think it's really pretty. And she's actually really pretty. I thought she was bald, but she's not. <laughs> I think it's like the long time ago, you know, like the Merida Brave. There you go. That time period. She had to wear this suit thing that covered her hair. And I'm guessing that that's the same time around where Snow White in that historical era. 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 Anyways. Because <laughs> in the movie, like, she drinks the the stuff and becomes the evil 
witch. And I was like, I didn't know she had hair. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I just, I've been talking for 15 minutes. I need to shut up. I need to be quiet. I just need to be quiet. <laughs> I talk too much. I'm sorry, guys. I have like 20, 30 minute videos on YouTube of me just talking and it's just crazy. And I, you know, vlogs are great and I have another channel that I wanted to tell you guys about. I've been trying to get you guys to go to my other channel. I've even posted links and I'll post a link below of where my channel, my other channel is so I can start moving my vlogs to that channel. And this will be just, it'll start transitioning to makeup only and shopping hauls. But... I'm sorry that I've kept talking and I'm going to be quiet now because it's been 16 minutes and I like to talk. I just like to let you guys know who I am and what I'm doing and everything. I don't know. I just like doing that. I don't know. I like to get to know people and share with people and everything. So, All right. I'm going to stop talking. There you go. The three amigos. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I got these awesome lights. I already tested this one out and it works. So this one works. I'm afraid to test this one and the other one, but the middle one works. And the reason why I'm afraid to test out the rest of them is because some people say that they explode, others, I mean, I'm just very nervous when I turn on a light. I know that sounds weird, but I am just nervous to turn on all of these because you never know what's going to happen, you know? I don't want it to overheat, I don't want anything bad to happen because I've heard some reviews where they were like, it was it overheated or it like completely broke or some of them were broke before they even got here and then when they it arrived like the light bulbs were completely busted but mine were just fine uh, the packaging the packaging was so nice for the light bulbs I was surprised so yeah they that one works this one and this one we'll have to see and I'm very nervous, but I'm really excited. Amazon is great and I just can't wait to like see. My uncle Craig, he, he helped me, he helped me set this up and, and this is kind of, I don't know, um, this is kind of uh, different. This part, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little strange, I gotta say. It's got this weird, weird thing where it's like, focus, 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 okay. See the little screw? This thing screws, and this goes into the, I, that thing, I guess. It just doesn't look like it's supposed to go there. I don't know. I don't know if it does or not, but it, it works for now. And my Uncle Craig said that's just how I could do it until I figure it out. But it's fully adjustable. Each one of them, fully adjustable. Very, very nice. And I'm excited. 